we're in the, the, the peak of the winter surge, the peak of what we've been warning folks about uh, was going to come since last August. I mean, we're seeing some of the highest levels of COVID-19 in our communities that we've seen at any point during the pandemic. Governor Chris Sununu and state epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan acknowledging the reality of where New Hampshire stands right now. With an average of 1,000 people testing positive in New Hampshire every day, the positivity rate is around 12 percent. 400 people are hospitalized. Governor Sununu says the federal government sent 30 paramedics to New Hampshire's hardest hit hospitals and their stay is extended for another couple weeks into January. That's very, very helpful um, uh, just to know that they will be here and the fact that they're going to be here working through the Christmas holiday. The original FEMA team sent to New Hampshire to help Elliott Hospital is finished today. The governor asked for more time with them, but hasn't received any confirmation if their stay can be extended. The governor says the people with the most severe cases are the unvaccinated. There's no doubt this surge is very real. There's no doubt there is, I think, um, an extreme hesitancy by a certain amount of the population to get vaccinated. And while the surge is real, he and Dr. Chan are still saying it's okay to gather with family this holiday season with precautions. Folks, just be careful. You know, we're not here to be the Grinch and tell folks not to meet with family or anything like that. We want people to have a, a happy holiday with family. Just do it safe. And some of the precautions that Dr. Chan says you should be thinking about include vaccination, keeping the gathering small, ventilating the space that you're in, also testing people before they enter, and people shouldn't go if they have any symptoms. Live in Concord, Jessica Miranda, WMUR News 9.